Hi Aries, so I'm here to do the July part 2 generals for yourselves. I am available for one on one readings. Um, that's Cleo, my granddaughter, in the background. <laughs> I am available for one on one readings for the hour, half hours, or the two question emails. Uh, that will all be in the description box below on my website link and it's self explanatory once you, go on, once you go on there. So, I'm going to be using my Empowerment Oracle deck for the Celtic and I'll be using the Gilded Tarot to clarify. So, I'm just going to jump straight in so aries the last part of july what have we got oh manifest what are you manifesting so be very careful with your thoughts with manifestation coming out of the situation and it is good time as well we have got the aquarius full moon on saturday in the uk um so be careful with your thoughts keep them positive what are you trying to manifest what you're trying to bring in because we can manifest negative things if that's where our thoughts are going so take that as a, a guidance to keep your thoughts clear and precise on what it is you're actually wanting. Uh, the challenge is some of my areas are feeling lonely at the minute, but it's almost like if you look deep into it, there's a reason why these people or these situations have to go because the hand of the divine is leading you into better places, brighter towns, people that will bring light into your life rather than dull you down or you know bring you into them types of situations. So they could be a bit, a bit feeling like lonely. I don't know why, but I've just got a standoffish energy. So if you've been hurt in love and you've been giving off this like standoffish energy, you know, like I do it quite a lot, really. Like I'm the independent woman. I don't need a man. I don't want a man. The universe is listening to that. So I feel like I need to say that to someone. I feel like I need to put that out there. Um, change the way you think you know you deserve love whether you're male or female but you deserve it where it's equal give and take where it's it's more it's natural so watch how you're speaking to the universe watch how you're speaking to yourself and watch how you're putting it out there to to your friends how you speak in conversations why is it coming around now we've got the solar plexus so your solar plexus it is the sun chakra you know so your solar plexus is around this area um so it's about decisions, it's your gut instinct. So it's about making choices and decisions. Going with your gut. I also feel like some of my areas are going through some kind of like dietary cleanse. It, it could be like your body has started to show like, you know, like kind of resistance to certain foods or drinks or something like that. Um, so watch out for bloatedness. Watch out for what you're eating if you start feeling sluggish or bloated. Um, because I feel like your body is trying to tell you something, especially around the gut area. So, recent past, we've got knowledge. So, you've learnt a lot of lessons, you've, you've gone into knowledge, a lot of areas, you could be like seeking knowledge, um, seeking information. They could even be like further learning. So, at present, we've got the crown chakra. So, you are downloading, you are downloading information, and I do believe it's like the codes to it, be able to manifest. You need to go with it. So we've got the crown chakra and the uh, solar plexus. So the crown chakra downloading, opening up. So near future, we've got this conflict energy. So I want to see what that is, but I feel it's more within yourself. Your power in the situation is connection. Yeah, it's connecting with yourself. You know, she's meditating. I drew these cards. This was me at the time because I used to have black hair. If you've watched my videos, um, I've always had black hair. So. I was connecting to my higher self, Lilith. So it's connection to your higher self, it's growth, it's personal power, but then you could have this like ego kind of trap coming up, maybe on a decision that you need to make. The outside influence. I can feel like you need to stay away from any conflict, don't get involved in anything. So we've got the queen. What's influencing you is the fact that you are in queen mode. So queen, she's independent, she's realistic, but when I looked at this then, if you look at her face, she, I never drew this card intentionally to be like this, but she actually looks quite bored. She's got everything she wants. The scales are balanced, she's got money in the bank, she don't need to feel, she don't really need to defend herself. She's learnt the knowledge, you've got the knowledge there. She's learnt a lesson, she's got her animal guards coming in. But there's something missing. She's sat there waiting for something. For its hope or fear. Oh, got a player. 
desire is definitely about manifestation. The hand of the divine is saying, what do you desire? What do you want in your life? You know, when I drew this card, I was desiring to live somewhere where I felt free. You know, water, fields, you know, and I'm just a walk away from a lodge and a walk away from all the fields uh, now. But it's almost like, what do you want your life to look like? It's almost like when I put this card up, it's almost like see it as a crystal ball. What do you want to manifest? What do you want to put in that picture for yourself? What's your perfect life style? How, how do you want to be living? What do you want to be doing? Your outcome is your sacral chakra. So your sacral chakra around your womb, sexual organs area, um, deals with calm, generational karma, uh, ideas, creativity. It can be blocked in that sense. Um, deals with relationships, family, um, siblings, uh, sexual relationships. But to me, it looks like your sacral chakra is being active. Again, creativity, ideas, epiphany moments. Um, there's definitely some kind of inner conflict within yourself, but I feel like you've been, if you follow your guidance, your intuition, you can kind of sway past that conflict, that inner conflict, but we'll see. So Aries, last part of July. Manifesting. Aries. King of Wands. So that could be your energy. Um, in your masculine, whether you're feminine, masculine, we all have feminine or masculine and, and masculine energy. Um, so Sagittarius Leo, Aries energy, but the King of Wands is ambitious, charismatic, um, is a go getter. So upright. So that's a good thing. <laughs> so it's about getting that balance. You could be bring, you could be dealing with another fire sign or bringing in another fire sign. That's what you could be trying to manifest. Sagittarius Leo, Aries. So the challenge being abandoned or lonely. The Eight of Pentacles. So things can be rebuilt in your life. The Eight of Pentacles shows that things can be rebuilt, that you can build yourself back up um, after some kind of turbulent time where you felt abandoned. Because we've got the Three of Wands. Be, be patient. Wait for your ships coming. We've got abundance coming in. So it's almost like be patient with yourself while you do the work and watch what you're putting out to the universe because you are manifesting. So you need to get out of this loneliness and go into like maybe self-love. Um, some of my areas is that there is a relationship that you're wanting to come back, that you're wanting to revive. The Eight of Pentacles could show that that, that is a sign of um, a revival, like it can be worked on if you choose. We are all born with free will. The divine will only like intercept or intervene when we give permission. So, solar plexus, this decision, where's your gut instinct telling you to go? The six of swords, to move on from storm waters to smooth waters. She's packed all the swords up, all the lessons, all the ways she used to think, and she's off on a new adventure. She's taking her lessons with her. So, you've definitely been through some turbulent times. You're going into smoother waters. It looks like you're choosing the brand new fresh start. You know, dancing to the beat of your own drum. I love this card in this deck. Because I always get it as like independence and dancing to the beat of your own drum. That doesn't mean you have to do it alone though. You know, so it's going back to zero. It's brand new fresh starts. It's rebuilding yourself. So the knowledge. Whatever knowledge or information came to you in the past, it's kind of released a burden. So it may not feel like it on the heart at the minute. For some reason, I'm feeling like a crushing on my heart. Um, so they could be like a... Uh, there could have been like a heartbreak but within this there's, there's a blessing in disguise because it's actually released you from some kind of like stressful situation ten of swords you could have you could have felt like you were being totally stabbed in the back there could have been slanders going on but we do have the phone there you know rebirth going through a rebirth you've done a lot of work in the past we've got the ten of wands and the ten of swords you've done a lot of work to heal in the past the Seven of Pentacles. So we are in the seventh month. So it's about being patient and waiting for things to come into fruition. Again, there's a lot of manifestation, a lot of patience. You know, nurturing yourself in order to blossom. Nurturing your finances if you want them to blossom. So we've got the Knight of Swords. At present, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So that could be you taking action towards someone or they're taking action towards you. Or you taking some kind of action in your life. So 
So we've got the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The Queen of Swords, she's been through some hard times and she has got to the point where she will not accept any BS, basically. So it's about speaking your truth. You might find that your throat chakra is really active at the minute. So maybe like, just be careful with your words because then again, words cast spells. That's why we spell them. Um, also, it's how we put out our manifestations. It's how the universe listens to us. Date of Wands, the communication. So you need to be careful with your communication, but I do feel like you're going to be cutting people off that need to be cut off. Uh, there's definitely communication coming in. We've got the Seven of Cups. Make sure you're not spreading your energy out to too many people or too many, you know, offers. Seven of Cups in reverse. We've got the... Uh, not in reverse, sorry, upright. We've got the 11-11. So there is wishes being granted. I'm definitely getting major manifestation. You could be seeing 11 a lot. Uh, you could also be seeing the number 8 a lot. We've got 8-8 eight, eight in your reading. I've got 11 11 keep getting manifestation um you need to watch how you communicate with the universe at the minute with seven of cups being there so as seven of cups there seven of swords yeah so there has been like sneaky lying cheating going on if you are messaging someone that you haven't met yet I would be definitely be careful with that person because they could already be partnered. Um, there's some kind of deceptive energy going on. The Six of Pentacles. So, balance being restored. I feel like that's where you've got to trust your gut instincts. There's some kind of deceptive energy. It could be about finances or it could be in love. We've got the Six of Cups or someone from the past. You could actually be healing from a past situation where we've had like cheating, lying, stealing, deceptive energy. Could have taken money off you, that type of thing. You've grown out of that now and it's like, I'm not taking that bullshit no more. You know, this person from the past, I've learnt major lessons from them, you know, and now it's about equal give and take. So this conflict in the near future, why is the conflict here? So we've got justice and we've got victory. If you are in like some kind of legal situation, if uh, you're waiting on legal matters, court dates, things like that, justice is going in your favour. We've got victory with justice there. Um, so if there, if there is some kind of conflict going on, like a legal conflict, that's in your favour. Uh, when I was picking up the conflict earlier with manifestation, see, we've got the two of swords. So... Again, your walls being quite, feeling like you're quite guarded, a bit nervous about what's coming in. So it's like you really want something to come in, but as soon as it comes in, that's too many. As soon as it comes in, it might scare you a bit and your walls go up a bit. We've got a tower in reverse. So it's past towers. You're still holding on to their energy. We need to release these past towers. A tower will be avoided, and I feel like it's... Yeah, so we've got the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius Leo, Aries. It's your energy, getting your fire back. We've got the Emperor in reverse. So there could be there could definitely be finances, legal issues, going like up towards employers or bosses, that type of thing. Or it could be going towards someone who was controlling or who's had control in like an authority figure type uh, situation. Um, I feel like you've got victory over like an authority figure. So the connection being your power, we've got the Ten of Cups. It's time to be emotionally fulfilled. It's time to have the happy home life, peace and quiet, you know, with yourself and the star. Well, this is really good because it's a sign of Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But what's happening this month and next month, we've got two full moons and they're both in Aquarius. So on Saturday, we've got the first one. And then on the 22nd of August, we have the second one. We've got two full moons uh, in Aquarius. And smack bang it middle of them we've got the lion's gate on the 8 8 so ooh, exciting so we've got the star so your power is to make your own wishes granted and do what you need to do in order to manifest them so it could be to legal documents to have a home outside influence we've got the three of pentacles but it's in reverse teamwork makes the dream work but that's in reverse so the outside influence isn't working with you so someone is not working with you whether it be an employer or whether it be in that um love life that type of thing We've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this could be definitely be, you, you could be chasing money up. And we've got the Hierophant. We have been, you're being divinely guided though, away from this. If it is finances, you're being divinely guided away. Um, if it, I feel like you've had a major lesson in money if it's regards to love. Because you, it's time to manifest for yourself and not other people. 
put that energy into you. So the desires, where do you want to go? You may want to relocate. You may want to go on holiday. We've got the two of wands. You've got paths opening up. It's it's almost, it's time to change your life now. There's big things changing. And the sacral chakra energy as your outcome. The sun. Time to be happy. And the knight of cups. An offer coming in. So this offer could be an offer of love or it could be an offer that makes you really happy. Just like emotionally fulfilled, it could be within finances because the wheel of fortune is spinning in your favour now. You've learnt the lessons that you've needed to learn. You've taken back control. We've got the five of wands in reverse or whoever is trying to get a reaction out of you, you, you they're not going to win. I feel like the conflict is short-lived. It's um, There's no real conflict that I'm seeing here. I feel it's more in your mind. We've got temperance, sans Sagittarius, and we've got the four of swords. Rest easy clear your thoughts in order to bring balance because the temperance card is all about balance she brings balance to thoughts um i do feel that in the next couple of weeks there could be a lot of like mental dreams going on so if i were you i would be keeping a dream journal at the side of your bed um within that within those dreams there'll be messages because it's they're bringing in balance in these situations where it'd be financial or whether it be some like love life where you're trying to manifest someone who's going to gift you with the same amount of love, time, effort that you're willing to put into a situation. So I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'll leave you with that. Okay, bye.